Hello friends, I'm George, the nice manic gentleman. It's time to take a look at a fragrance that's, be that's beginning to pick up a lot of hype from the house of Hamidi, the Hamidi Addicted Intense. So in this video, I'm going to tell you about my experience of using this fragrance, how it smells, how it performs, how much I paid for it. And then at the end of the video, I'm going to tell you my honest opinion on whether the Hamidi Addicted Intense is actually worth checking out. If you enjoy my videos, I'd really appreciate if you hit the subscribe button. Okay, let's take a look at the presentation of this fragrance. It comes packaged in this black colored box with some silver accents. On the front, I got the name of the fragrance along with the uh, bottle size 120 milliliters, a rather rare type of uh, bottle size. On the top, I got the name of the company Hamidi sticker of, of authenticity on the back some additional information and then on the bottom there is the production date uh, which is stamped with black ink and very hard to see but the production date of this bottle is uh, october of 2022 another interesting fact is that hamidi is actually part of uh, the uh, sterling perfumes so it's under the same umbrella as companies like uh, arma for example and then this is how the uh, actual bottle looks uh, all the fragrances from the addicted line have exactly the same bottle design bottle shape and everything just come in different colors again black color for the bottle uh, with silver accents and silver cap the cap is made out of metal you know the whole bottle is really heavy and feels of really nice quality. now let's talk about the scent of the Hamidi addicted intense now you probably already know what this is trying to clone if you're watching this video and of course this is the latest uh, sort of a fragrance that is cloning Creed Aventus that's starting to pick up some interest in the community so yeah this is a clone of Creed Aventus I'll show you the spray in action and then I'll talk about the scent of this fragrance this sprayer is actually quite nice puts a good amount of juice now uh, one interesting thing two interesting things about this fragrance first of all this is a parfum concentration so it has a very high uh, concentration of parfum oil inside the fragrance itself and the second fact is that this fragrance contains no alcohol so it's alcohol free okay so uh, quite a strong opening now this unlike uh, some other uh, clones of uh, Creed Aventus especially uh, clones from uh, Armaf uh, the opening is not as harsh as you get with, uh, you know, the uh, Club de Nuit uh, fragrances. Here, the, op the opening is a, a lot more balanced. It's a lot more smoky. It's a lot more fruity. You don't get that strong lemon note that uh, the Club de Nuit Intense Man line is known for. Here, we pick I pick up uh, some pineapple. I pick up uh, maybe a bit of apple as well in the opening. It feels uh, more balanced, softer, sweeter compared to Club de Nuit Intense Man. And then on the dry down, this becomes uh, really smoky. In fact, you can pick up that smoky note from the opening, but on the dry down, it's really noticeable. Also, I pick up uh, quite a strong Okmos note uh, out of uh, this fragrance. And it's, it's, it's sweet, it's balanced, it's smoky. Because of the, the strong Okmos note uh, in uh, Hamidi Addicted Intense, uh, this fragrance also reminds me a little bit of uh, the Afnan Supremacy, not only Intense, just a little bit. But all in all, uh, as you've probably heard in other reviews of uh, this fragrance, this is very reminiscent of older batches of Creed Aventus, the famous uh, smoky batches, smoky fruity batches of uh, Creed Aventus. This is definitely a sort of a very good clone of uh, those older batches of Creed Aventus. Now let's talk about uh, probably what's the other uh, thing that uh, this fragrance is being hyped up for and that's the performance. Uh, most reviews that I've watched about this fragrance already at this point uh, are praising this fragrance for its performance and are calling this one a beast performing fragrance. Well in this case my opinion slightly differs now this is a strong fragrance no doubt about that but uh, definitely in my opinion not a beast mode fragrance i get about 10 hours of uh, performance on skin uh, out of the uh, hamidi uh, addicted intense at least so far in my testing but what's a little bit uh, more disappointing is the fact that this is not a very strong projecting fragrance it projects for about an hour and a half after i've sprayed it but uh, the projection is a bit on the softer side and in my 
uh, humble opinion, that's down to the fact that this contains no alcohol, which usually help, helps with the projection of a fragrance. So performance wise, this is a strong fragrance, but definitely not a beast mode, at least in my opinion. And also is a little bit softer on the uh, projection. As far as the versatility goes, this is an absolutely like a super versatile fragrance. This can be worn pretty much any time of the year, any type of occasion. You know, it's uh, sweet enough to work in, uh, fresh and sweet enough to work in hot weather, has enough for performance to work in cold weather. So all in all, this is a super, super versatile fragrance. As far as the pricing goes, I paid roughly about $35 in order to acquire um, Hamidi Addicted Intense, which I think is a pretty good deal, considering that this is 120 milliliter bottle size, parfum concentration, and has pretty good performance. And so, on to my final thoughts about Hamidi Addicted Intense. Now, this fragrance has a lot of things going for it, you know, it has a low price tag, it comes in 120 milliliter bottle size, parfum concentration. The scent profile is very well rounded, very well blended. Uh, also, you get to, to experience uh, some of those older um, sort of a smokier batches of Creed Aventus, those famous smokier batches of Creed Aventus. And, uh, you know, you get a nice heavy bottle, good presentation, high quality bottle. So all in all, this fragrance has a lot of things going on for it, but I can't help but feel a little bit disappointed by this fragrance for one simple reason, and that's the fact that uh, this was supposed to be a beast mode performing fragrance, and in my experience, at least so far, it's not been that. It's a great performer, but definitely not a beast performing fragrance, and also lacks a bit of projection because of the lack of alcohol in this fragrance. So all in all, should you check uh, Hermity Addicted Intense? In my opinion, it feels kind of redundant, especially if you already own fragrances like Club de Nuit Intense Man, EDP, Limited Edition, or Pure Parfum. I kind of feel that Addicted Hermity Intense feels kind of redundant. Um, if, you, uh, if you don't mind spending some extra $30, $40 and you like the Creed Aventus DNA, then definitely check out Hermity Intense, uh, Hermity Addicted Intense. If you don't own any clones of uh, Creed Aventus, then definitely you can start off with uh, Hamidi Addicted Intense. All in all, this fragrance gets a big like from me, but it's unfortunately not a love from me. So guys, in today's video, I showed you the Hamidi Addicted Intense. A really interesting alternative to the older small care batches of Creed Aventus. I hope that you found this video interesting or helpful. If you did, give it a like. And I really hope that I'm going to see you in my next video. Bye-bye.